morning, friends. What's up? How's it going? Week eight, I think, of this whole thing. We're coming into the two month, uh, I don't know, starting line and finish lines. So I think, I don't know what I'm talking about this morning. Um, first of all, thank you for sending lots of love over the weekend. I am fine. My left leg is a little bit, um, well, it's a little bit gnarly. My left leg got, um, dragged on something in the whole ordeal. It was really fast, so I don't know exactly, like, how I got hurt, um, but that kayak flipped and did something to me, and now my left leg is kind of, kind of messed up. But, somehow, nothing broke. So that's good. Um, I might try to t take a run again today and see how painful it is and hopefully get the blood blood flowing again. Um, good morning, Britta. Good to see you. So today, um, well, the last couple of days being stuck on my butt, I've been reading Glennon Doyle's new book. Has anybody else been reading it? It's called Untamed. Um, on my runs, I've been listening to tons of podcasts with her, and I was just like, okay, I need to read this book. Um, the whole book is basically about getting free, which I think is something we all should be doing all the time. Um, so today, you know, I had it, I had it, I've had a couple things in my head from this book that I think are so important, especially for women, but I think for everybody, um, I think one way that we keep ourselves not super free is, um, really living our life, trying to make other people happy. Um, it could be specific people, uh, like your parents maybe, or your spouse or the people around you, um, your church, your just systems around you, the people that are, you're close to, um, or it could just be society, right? Like we are kind of trained in certain ways, especially women. I think we're told like, this is how to be a good woman. This is how to be, yeah, good. I think is, is really put on women a lot. Um, and, you know, I think, geez, we've got one short life to live and, and doing, you know, trying to, trying to fit into people's molds or society's molds for us feels like an enormous waste of time to me. Um, and reading this book has really made me think about the ways that I still do that. Um, and yeah, I think it's something to think about, you know? Are there ways even today that you are trying to fit into everyone else's mold? I think it's the biggest question worth asking every day of your life, who am I and who do I want to be? It's a scary question to ask, but is there any other question to ask? I mean, what's the point? of this whole thing if we're just never asking who we are and what do we want? I mean, what's the point of just living your whole life not thinking about that? So, I definitely suggest reading Untamed and I definitely suggest taking maybe 10 minutes of silence today, a little bit of meditation or something just to just to check in with yourself. And, and you know, I think if we check in with ourselves with a little bit of quiet every day, we'll probably, um, we'll probably get a little bit closer to, to figuring out who the heck we are and what the heck we want, you know? So this is an old song from our first album. I normally sing it a lot more powerfully than I will this morning. <laughs> first thing in the morning, your voice doesn't really, doesn't really work the same, um, but I'll do my best. So when I graduated college, I was getting together with Eric and we were also part of a church and um, it was the first time in my life that I had to go carve my own path, you know? I mean, up to that point, it's like I'd done school, I did really well in school, I was like a good good student, I did everything I was supposed to do, high honors and, you know, whatever. And um, 
then all of a sudden like I met this guy and I wanted to be a musician and um, there were people that weren't super supportive of our relationship and there were people that weren't super supportive of of me you know kind of breaking that good girl mold I think I was supposed to stay in school and go to grad school and I don't know do different things and and it was the first time that I just had to be like you know what what do I want to do and and just move forward um and I had to butt heads with with some people and I was really uncomfortable with that and um yeah Britta small steps small steps what's the next right thing what's the next right thing you can do today to be who you are um for me this this moment after college were like a lot of big steps like marrying this dude and, and choosing a career and stuff obviously were bigger moments but now that I'm past that it is just smaller stuff every day making choices for myself um that are more in line with who I am as opposed to trying to make everybody else happy but this song was written in that first season the first time I ever really had to think like what do I want and all these people are trying to tell me what to do and it was the first time I had to be like I don't really care about the stuff that you're telling me to do. It's not what I want to do, and I need to be a little bit braver and do my own thing. So yeah, kind of intense for a Tuesday morning, but that's what's on my heart, so figured I'd share. I hope it's helpful for you today. All right, here we go.
So yeah, live your life for you today. Um, there's gonna be lots of people that'll tell you how to live your life every single day, but you only have you and that's it. And no one else can really tell you what the best choices are. So make some really amazing moves today um, or don't, maybe today is one of those days that you're just like, I need a break. And that is amazing too. I did nothing yesterday. My leg hurt. I was so drained from, I think the accident on Saturday really took a lot out of me and I did nothing. And you know what? That was the truest, most beautiful version of myself I could be yesterday was just to give myself a dang break. So maybe that's what you gotta do today. But do what you gotta do today. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks or what anybody else tells you is the right thing to do, you know? Have an amazing day. Have your amazing day today i'll see you uh, i'll see you thursday morning eric will be with you tomorrow morning okay thanks for hanging out with me bye bye